Okay, so good morning. It's uh, almost lunch. And always at the portion where people are about to do something else. So I don't know what is going to happen. So I, I, you should treat me well after this, right? Anyway, um, I know it was kind of late yesterday, but um, and I said last time that uh, my focus was more on the heart, and this time I'm going to focus more on the mind. And what I wanted to share with you is more of my experience in terms of how do we understand lean and six sigma. I think for a lot of people, it might be the first time to hear both words at the same time. And I'd like to go back and break it up. That's why I can uh, use the word deconstruct it. So again, I like to show pictures, and I hope that the pictures mean more than the description. Six sigma is that. And I hope that you can remember how people described it yesterday. Consistency, variability. I used this one yesterday. Lean is about this. Six sigma is about this. Data, numbers, facts. Lean is this. It's counterintuitive. There's something there. People need to know, understand, difficult to grasp. So when you say lean six sigma, how do you make the two? And I've seen this work in a lot of times. So there's sometimes a conflict between how you should get the data and how it could work. When I go to the company and I tell the, the owners, you know, you have too much inventory, 230 million pesos worth of inventory. Let's reduce that. And you get a silence. Reduce it. Can I afford to reduce it? Six Sigma is science, math. I think Brian Roby did uh, a lot of talk about statistics. Lean is not so much. Some people want to take an art, but it's hard to put your finger on it. And that's why if you look at Six Sigma compared to Lean, Six Sigma is very structured. There's a methodology. You follow it. But Lean, you very you won't see much about methodology. You see principles. You see a lot of tools. The, the way to do it is something else. So when you combine them, what you get? It's not purely science, but you need to have something there to make sure that people understand what it is all about. Six Sigma is this. Not Mattel, but I use Mattel's back. That's why I use his back and it's fine. Because oftentimes when you talk about Six Sigma, you talk about certification, an individual getting certified, a black belt. A lot of times, there's a lot of focus on the individual. But Brian made a point that it's not the black note themselves, but making sure two big people together. 